Hi guys, it's Andy the GD Script Dude with another video about GD Script. And in this one, we will be looking at the Globals uh, Autoload. When in uh, the editor, we can, sorry, the project, project settings, you can go to a, a tab called Autoload. And in my one, I've got, you can, uh, navigate to a place like one of your files it may be a scene or it may be a script any of these will do so you select one of those and it comes up there and then you can click on add and it appears in the list here and you can give it a name in my case i've got two of them these are auto load scripts because they're dot gd files so i've got one called g I like to use very short names for them because in the code we're going to access their properties and methods by going g dot and then the name of the property or method rather than having a long name there and this is another one called tt and let's close that and then let's look at our g dot gd file here this is a GD script file. If you wanted to add a new file such as this to your project, you can go somewhere. Where do you go? You have file and then you can go new script by clicking there. Very simple. As opposed to adding a new scene where you click that plus and then you create a new scene. And anyway, so we've got an auto loaded g.gd file there. And then in our code, let's look at this. Uh, yeah, let's look at this this uh, script that makes use of it. And scrolling down the code, we can see that in this function, we have a reference to it. We've just got g dot circuits and then an index into the circuits and the property of them and so forth. So what is g? It was our auto load here, and we were talking about circuits there, and it's a property of it. Circuits is a dictionary. So we could go g dot circuits in our script here because this is omnipresent. It's it's auto loaded this uh this g dot gd file as an auto load with a name of g, just g. So we can access the properties of it here like we got g dot circuits and we have circuits there so it's g dot circuits and i while i was doing this i was putting it together i noticed that i've i've uh, almost circular referenced it where i've gone i've referenced this g the auto load within it within itself click on that part file path as a constant which is defined in this file so i don't need to go g dot because we're already there so let's edit that hopefully it doesn't break everything and we will save it control s so we have this stuff what is in our auto load here this is g for globals rather than going globals dot blah 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 in our other files we just go g dot because it's very simple isn't it so what typically it's extending a node and then we got constants and these are capitalized with underscores between the words so we define our colors and stuff like that you know path files and like this and uh yeah various things under arrays of uh, useful things these colors for example and then variables which are like capturing global state like in your game it might be the, the current score the high score the level that you're on this is just what i'm doing here in my particular project and some functions that are used all over the place such as loading um files from the from the hard disk you know like from the memory no, not memory they're from the storage area so in this case i'm loading circuits like you go g dot load circuits in any scene where you need that and g dot load 
delete files, you don't get files. And uh, typically you're gonna save files and load them in many places, so it makes sense to put them into the autoload globals file like this. So you go g.save file, a file name and the data for it. And this is just standard stuff for saving a file. You got the file name. I mean, you got the file object, which is, you get it from the, f the file file thing dot new and then you open it with a file name and the constant of file that writes and then you store your JSON data or data um, made into JSON formats and then close the file then when you load the file you just need the file name then you get a new object so the file dot new and then check if it, it exists if it doesn't, you return null. But if it does, then you're going to open it with the file name and the mode of reading it. And you get the file contents as, as text and then you pass into the JSON. You pass the JSON into the dictionary format and return it. That's the typical use of the globals auto load. In this case, I've called it g.gd. So hopefully that makes sense and gives you an idea for why you want to use autoload files. Now autoload uh, scenes is a different story. I will not cover that here, but that is like used with a, a factory pattern where you might have a bunch of asteroids and they've got different characteristics in your game and you want to generate one. And well, I'm rambling on. Anyway, that's a topic for another one. So please like and subscribe if you like this. And I'll see you in another video. Bye.